Me and my best friend have two bikes, Karen and Henry, from Goodfellas. And we would just ride around and ride to the bridge, ride down the old streets, all the darkness lifting into fluorescent colors, all the dirt turning into gold dust and rainbows. It's just this completely magical and beautiful, joyful place. That represents for me feeling the exact same way now that I did back when I had no record deal and back when I had no voice in the world other than my very sweet and small one that was shouting on Stanton Street. And it's so important for me because in a very strange way, when you travel as much as I do and you see so much, the world gets smaller. <laughs> You're on a plane and you get off and you're in 50 different countries and it all starts to turn into something that's very linear and it's really not. The world is wide and huge and endless. When I ride Henry, Henry reminds me how big the world is because it takes so long to ride 20 blocks in that city. It's a whole mile. And it feels very different from being in the back seat of a car or being on an airplane or being on a stage where you know, the stage is this one city block. When I ride around and I look at the stars and I look up into the sky, I know it sounds crazy, but sometimes I just don't do that anymore. You know, I'm so busy working. I'm trying to become better for my fans, but sometimes what will be better for them is when I look up into the sky and I say, well, that's the brightest star. Sometimes you just gotta look. I ride around and my security gets so mad at me. They're like, where, where, where have you been? I just say I went on a bike ride. It's no big deal. What's the worst that could happen? Someone says, are you Gaga? Yeah. Ching, ching. <laughs>